This is Colorado's very own Lauren Bobert, okay? Bobert. Oh, Bobert. Now, this morning I woke up, okay? I wake up and I get my cake up. And while I'm getting my cake up, what do I see? I see one of the fucking most insane ads I've ever seen in all my years of covering uh, American politics. Now, now this is a new, new, okay? This is a new, like, uh, a parody. New level of parody, okay? New character unlocked. New character dropped, okay? For the Republican Party. My God, dude, this is good. This is good. I mean, this is... Part of the reason why it's very difficult for comedians to be funny is because you can never be as funny as, uh, as this person is authentically. Let's take a look at what Colorado's very own Lauren Boebert is going to do in Congress. I'm Lauren Boebert, and I approve this message. Cut. That's a wrap. Why does she have a, an unloaded Glock? Like, standing on the table in front of her, in front of the green screen. Like... What is she, ready to get fucking home invasioned? While she's doing a green screen shoot? Are you gonna kill the fucking cameraman? What are you, like, a part of ISIS? Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm a newly elected congresswoman from- This is the funniest part about this entire video, okay? Like, while this psycho is like uh, power walking in her fucking six inch heels uh, through streets of, uh, you know, Georgetown. Like one of the wealthiest neighborhoods, by the way. Like, like this, this psycho uh, business, small business owner uh, is not living in like a bad part of DC or anything. This is fucking bullshit. Okay. Yeah. She's kind of nice with it, though. The gum makes it even hotter. Ew, dude. She's not kind of nice with it at all. She's a fucking psycho. Damn, I thought everyone made fun of me for liking basic white ladies. And, and it turns out, no, it's the entire chat. This is Capitol Hill. That's right next to Capitol, not your Okay, shut the fuck up, H. Bizzle. Don't correct me. Okay, all right, whatever. It's Capitol Hill. Colorado. Even though I now work in one of the most liberal cities in America, I refuse to give up my rights, especially my Second Amendment rights. <laughs> I will carry my firearm in DC and in Congress. Come on, dude! That's why I will carry my Glock to Congress. Like, this is so good, dude. This is so awesome. I mean, this is it. This is fan service. This is virtue signaling. This is literally uh, Republican id Paul, okay? Like, imagine you're, you're a representative of Colorado, okay? And, like, your people are dying, okay? Businesses are out. Like, there's so much uh, economic turmoil. So much uncertainty. And, like, your entire goal is like, yeah, I'm going to go to Capitol Hill and I'm going to bring my Glock with me. Sick. Like, that's great. Good job, dude. Who are you helping with this? Can you e explain what's going on here? And if you think that this is sick, like, you're such a fucking idiotic hog. Okay? Also, what happens? Like, did, did she do a desk pop? Is she going to be one of those, like, uh, you know, grieving, uh, grieving recently fired uh, employees? Or is, he, is she going to go postal? Huh? Shooters, her restaurant is nuts. Yeah, we're going to get to that in a second. In D.C. and in Congress, this caused outrage from Democrats in the media. Why? It's our job in Congress to defend your rights, including your Second Amendment. Dude, listen. Motherfucker, you're getting, you're getting winded walking on a fucking treadmill and a green screen. Okay? Like, what is this? W what are you doing? You're literally out of breath, power walking on a goddamn treadmill, indoors, to a fucking porn soundtrack, talking about how you're going to bring your gun into Congress. Like, she's going to trip and fall. First of all, this is literally just putting a bullseye on yourself. You're like, I walk to Congress every day, and here is where I keep my gun. And that's exactly what I'm here to do. Like, look at this, look. In D.C., of all places, we should be encouraged to practice our rights. So forget what you hear in the fake news. By the way, you might have missed this part. It says, we the people in the clouds. So 
So forget what you hear in the fake news. Here are the real reasons why I choose to defend myself in our nation's capital. I'm a woman and a mother of four. I choose to defend my family with all of the force the Constitution provides. D.C. is one of the top 10 most dangerous cities in our country. Okay, again, like, she went... I feel like she went to a, a, an area to, like, make it look bad, but this is not, like, a bad neighborhood. Homicide rates and violent crimes are skyrocketing. Like, this is a neighborhood with uh, back alleys that literally have garages, like, one car, two car garages. Clearly, this is not a fucking murderous uh, alleyway in, in a bad part of D.C. Like, it might look that way if you're from fucking Colorado and every house has, like, a gigantic yard or some shit being here being a member of congress is pretty basic i don't go to work in a motorcade or armored car i don't get police escorts everywhere i go i walk to my office every morning by myself so as a five foot tall 100 pound woman i choose to protect myself legally bro i swear to god this is literally how you this is literally how people get this is literally how people acquire guns illegally okay you want to know how fucking criminals get guns? This motherfucker. Not even a joke. I am a hundred pound, five foot tall lady, and this is where I keep my Glock. Because I am my best security. One of the challenges of working in D.C. is people here don't understand how we live in real America. The Second Amendment... <laughs> Bitch, you're a theme restaurant owner in Colorado. What do you mean real America? Get the fuck out of here. Just because your husband wears a 10-gallon hat doesn't mean you're real America, you dumb fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, she literally operates a theme park restaurant, okay? And mint is part of our lives. Gun ownership is cherished, and it makes our little town safer. As a young woman working late nights at a restaurant, I learned real fast how important it is to defend myself. After a violent incident... Yeah, her husband literally, real America husband, flashed his hog... Lauren uh, Bobert has been arrested four times and is under investigation for unlawfully providing a handgun to a juvenile who worked at her Colorado restaurant. She was with her husband when he was arrested for exposing his to a minor, not exactly a law-abiding gun owner. Yup. Outside my business, I took advantage of Colorado's open carry laws and began to carry at work. Dude, this is the funniest fucking fo uh, photo. Look, look. Like, this is so, this is so indicative of exactly how this works, okay? She's walking in with her fucking true religion denims with a with a revolver, like a like a six shooter at her hip while serving some fucking fat Colorado and some beer, okay? I took like he 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 looks half terrified. I love that revolver ocelot Andy. Oh my god. Colorado's open carry laws and began to carry at work. My waitresses asked if they could open carry too. And now Shooter's Grill has mandatory firearm training and target practice available for my staff. Mandatory firearms training, dude. You wanna you wanna serve five dollar jalapeno poppers to Coloradans on their day off? You better learn how to shoot this Glock. It's fucking mandatory, brother. Yeah, she owns a theme restaurant, like a, a like a shooting themed restaurant. Most of whom are young women. Educated, law-abiding gun owners are the safest. Yeah, libertarians being Second Amendment, being pro Second Amendment is like so last year. Now you have to force people to shoot guns. That's what I'm on board with, baby. Everybody needs to shoot guns now. There's people in America to be around. So when anyone comes in to limit the rights and safety of my family, I'll tell them exactly what this mom thinks. I am here to say hell no, you're not. I have four children, I'm five foot zero, 100 pounds. Can I That's like her line, by the way. I got four children, 500, 500, oh fuck, four children. Five foot, 100 pounds. Like, that's her fucking uh, line always. I really defend myself with a fist. Also, she literally cannot walk. Notice how she's out of breath walking! ...open carry laws and began to carry at work. My waitresses asked if they could open carry too. And now Shooter's Grill has mandatory firearm training and target practice available. So what I don't understand is, like, did they start calling it Shooter's Grill before or after everyone was open carrying like that's a that's a real like i need to know this is something i need to understand like because if no one was open carrying and they didn't do mandatory firearm training like did they get together and we were like we got to call it shooter's grill now after like what was it before for my staff most of whom are young women 
Educated, law-abiding gun owners are the same. Like, look at her power walking through D.C. Safest people in America to be around. So when anyone comes in to limit the rights and safety of my family, I'll tell them exactly what this mom thinks. I am here to say, hell no, you're not. I have four children. I'm five foot zero, 100 pounds. Cannot really defend myself with a fist. So all you're going to do is restrict law-abiding citizens like myself. So this is why I choose to defend myself and my family. Not only is it my right, but it's a right I was sent here to protect from Rifle Colorado. So if you see me in D.C., say hi. You're safe with me. Yeah, dude, definitely. Yeah, some fucking sick freak.